since I have an hour time of fucking recording and it says it reached the limit, but it's still recording, so. I'm pretty sure even if I do get a GoPro, that they're only going to allow fucking 30 minute fucking recordings like this. Because that's the control big tech has. You know, this whole fucking time that uh, my ex left, you know, took off with the kids. You know, my birthing person, she never really fucking talked about them. You know, asked if I miss them, asked if I think about sending them something, asked if, you know. Not a goddamn thing. She doesn't care about how I feel about being a father and not having my kids in my life. But she expects me to give a fuck that she has cancer and she's about to fucking die from cancer. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Go to jail and tell your sob story to another fucking feminist inmate. They'll probably eat it up. Probably get inside those feelings too and be like, Oh, I want to meet your son now. I want to know how it actually feels to be treated like a piece of shit. Even though I didn't give birth to him. The first birthday I had that, I was given money. You know, my my mom waited till uh, her boyfriend at the time, now deceased husband, you know, went to work. She came into the bedroom and took the money right out of my fucking jacket, and she said she was gonna pay me back. I'm 40 years old. I was about 10 or 11 when I first got money on my birthday. <laughs> I haven't seen that money. I haven't seen that money. She hasn't paid it back. And that was $80 I got on my birthday. I was trying to save that for something I wanted. I started to wonder how many men were going to start doing that. Oh, because I, I thought my mom was just teaching me that men are monsters, you know, because women are innocent victims and shit. But as I got older, I, I started to realize that On my job, you know, that I had. It, it wasn't the men of my village that were asking me for anything because they already had a job. They already had their own money. They already had another source of type of income there. They were getting to get what they wanted. See, even the married females of my home village were asking me for money. 
I said, what the fuck's wrong with your husband? Oh, he's got money. I just don't have any of my own. I was like, I'm not your husband. You ain't gonna give me no fucking pussy. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> They're like, I'm your auntie. I was like, no, you're married into my family. You're not really my auntie. So if you're asking me for money, you ain't my auntie. You are just another piece of slop hole. You, know, you disrespected your fucking home. Your husband, your kids, your family stepping out, asking someone else for money in exchange for services. See, I, I, I really fucking got fucking perturbed when you know, female relatives, my home brothers started asking me for money. I was like, you fuckers get a fucking check every fucking month from your corporation. And it's more than enough to pay the bills. On top of that, you're able to bring alcohol and weed back home. And you don't have to have a fucking job. I need this money. I, I I got no other source of income other than my tribal checks and whatever I'm able to fucking do on my own. I, I'm literally fucking just... I'm barely making it by as is and how I've gotten this far because you know, of my injuries. I, 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 I'm so fucking psycho over this bullshit, you know, because I, I expected non-relative females to fuck with me. No, it, it, this is just some fucked up sick ass shit that, you know, I, I wish I had, you know, it, no, I really can't say that because then, you know, something does happen, I, I, I'll get fucked. I mean, it's not illegal to have your own thoughts yet. But it soon is getting to be that way. <clears throat> but it, it won't be illegal for uh, the other sex to have thoughts. Still loaded, damn. It doesn't feel like I'm getting no hits though. <laughs> I, I think it's because I'm too fucking aggravated from yesterday and last night. Fuck, I just. I mean, seriously, leave me the fuck alone. You weren't there when I was struggling to try and make something for myself. But now all you fuckers want to be there when, you know, I'm getting all this shit coming to me. Fuck you. I'm dead fucking serious. If the IRS or the government wants to come after me for my shit, I, he, 
There's going to be fucking bloodshed. Tell you that much right now. I didn't survive all that bullshit just for someone else to fucking take it all away. Fuck that. Fuck that. I didn't want to fucking live here. I wanted to live up there. Way the fuck up there. Fuck, I almost fucking lost it last night to the point I wanted to get an ounce of meth. <laughs> you know, I mean... I want to fucking enjoy what's left of my fucking freedom. I, I I ain't trying to make no one else suffer for because of whatever the fuck no fuck that shit I mean, at least my dad, he had the sense to say, you let me have this money, you're investing in something. All right? All right. Uh, what are you talking about investing in something? You can come back home. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I can come back home, but, you know, nobody ain't going to want me around because I'm fucking useless. That village life, you, you got to be able to help others so they can help you too. I mean, you don't just sit there and watch someone roll their fucking oil drum up a fucking steep hill and not do anything to help. And then when you got to do that shit, you're going to be like, how come nobody helps me? You know? See, that that's the mentality of my fucking birthing person. So I don't call her mom anymore. Shit, I ended up in the hospital what, four times in the last uh, eight years. My birthing person was at the casino fucking gambling, drinking. 304 and around for more fucking casino money. But the second she gets cancer, she's just like... <laughs> How come nobody came to the hospital and visited me? <laughs> My brother's been to the hospital twice. If I knew about the first time, I, I, I would have showed up. You know, but I didn't know he was in the hospital because I didn't have a phone. I, I wasn't always connected to the internet. You know, it was only un until a couple of years ago that I actually started using the internet, you know, like other people have been. <clears throat> but the second time I found out he was in the hospital, I showed up. I was like, okay, man, you all right, bro? Good, yeah. 
but you know I wasn't able to talk to him the second time either but he showed up you know his woman was there well, the woman he was with at the time was there I he just But yeah, this last time I ended up in the hospital, he, not even my dad found out. And usually he finds out when I'm in the hospital. Cause he wants to make sure I'm doing all right. I'm fucking pissed off that I didn't get to finish my four grams yesterday. I mean, it was so fucking easy for you guys to leave me alone when I had no fucking money. Why can't you leave me alone now? Fuck. Ugh. <sighs> 